Hi, welcome to the Old Geezer's Diary. My name is Chris Gosling, and uh, today just a small, a small set of comments really about these things. Let's hold it the right way up, shall I? About these things, which is contactless credit cards. Um, most of us, I think, have got them, whether we want them one or not. By accident, I think the thing that the banks automatically send out is contactless cards. I've got one. I've just got one. I had one before, I think. Although I've never used one contactless. Um, I was interested because I was watching a programme on TV the other day where they were talking about the risks inherent with these contactless cards. One of the most interesting bits was that people can actually read the contactless details and use those details to carry out transactions. The transactions aren't of great value. They're, they've got to be, I think, under th about £30 in the UK. And um, you're only allowed three or four sometimes before you are actually prompted to give a PIN number. But the uh, information, the contactless information, can be rid of these cards and can be used by thieves and crooks. That's why I don't like them. Um, and to be honest with you, my viewpoint on it is that if I want to do a credit card transaction, I'm perfectly happy to stick this in the machine, punch in my code, PIN number, and that's fine. I know what I've spent. But the one that worries me is is that, or doing it by by accident, maybe, or having the card read and then having money stolen out of it. I understand that the banks are very sensible about this kind of problem. And if it does occur, then let's face it, they uh, they say, oh, well, we'll, we'll cover the cost. Um, but I'm suspicious that people may not pick up fraudulent credit, um, sorry, fraudulent contactors. <laughs> it's awful when your teeth now were fraudulent contactless transactions. Concerned that you won't pick those up in amongst your other transactions if you use this a lot. So I don't have a contactless uh, card or I do have one and I don't want to use it. Two things to note about contactless cards. One is that if you don't use it, the first time you do use it contactless, you will be prompted for a PIN number. So that means that if someone steals your details, the contactless details on the card, and then tries to do a transaction, they will get asked for the PIN, I assume. And if they don't provide the PIN, then the transaction shouldn't go through. That's point one. So if you don't use a contactless card as contactless, then contactless transactions won't go through until you put in the PIN on the first transaction. The second thing to know, apparently, is that you don't have to have a contactless card. If you've got one and you don't want it, you can ask the bank for a non-contactless card. If you're due for a new card, you can do the same thing. If you've had a problem with your existing card and you want a new card, you can also do the same thing. You can say, I want a contactless card, because apparently all the banks will give you a contactless card, with the exception, I think, of maybe Amex. Um, so there you go. You don't have to have a contactless card. If you do have a contactless card, you may be at risk. But personally, I think it's not worth having one or personally, I think it's not worth using one. There you go. Just a little thought for you. Contactless cards. Are they a bit of an additional risk to your financial well-being? I don't know, but the case for them, I don't believe, is particularly well proven. Thanks for watching. This is Eel Gizzard's Diary. I'm Chris. I'll see you soon.